Disney is a well-known brand in most parts of the world, not only because of its famous animated films, but also because of its amusement parks. What person, small or big, has not dreamed of visiting one of these parks? And if it is a water park, of which Disney has several, the fun and adventures increase, since these have an additional ingredient, water. This liquid is present in the main attractions, such as slides, zip lines and swimming pools. Anyway, fun everywhere. But not everything in Disney's amusement parks is rosy. These spaces that should be for family fun have been involved in macabre stories. One of the most chilling stories of these amusement parks involves River Country, the first water park founded by the Walt Disney Company. But after 25 years of operation, it was closed without an explicit explanation. There are many theories that were generated around this sudden closure. Although there is one, specifically, that has become almost an urban legend. And if it's true, it's really creepy. In the summer of 1976, on the edge of Lake Bay Cove, Florida, Disney built its first water park. It was a small space compared to other parks, but with a unique and beautiful design based on the rustic environment that surrounded it. This ambience made the park known as River Country. For years, this park was the favorite place for families to enjoy their vacations. Young and old used to go there every year and had great fun in each of its attractions, which included even a Disney island. But without a doubt, the main attraction of the place was a great artificial mountain with two slide systems. This attraction was the delight of visitors who did not hesitate to go up and down them again and again. This mountain had as its main characteristic that it was integrated to the bay of the nearby lake and the water that was used to be thrown in the slides came from the same lake. This liquid was filtered and then pumped to the top of the slides. However, just as the fun began in river country, it also culminated. Well, in the summer of 2002, when many people waited for the park to open its doors, it did not happen, neither that year nor the following ones. On the contrary, the place has remained closed. This sudden closure has generated countless theories. In the first place, it was said that the closure was due to remodeling work. However, in 2005, the Disney company announced that River Country would remain closed permanently and that the decision was due to the low visit of tourists, which translated into low economic income for the park. As a result, it was difficult to maintain the park. This explanation of the company did not leave the public very convinced. On the contrary, a theory has spread that the water park was closed after the death of a child. The cause of this death was found in the waters of the attractions that were in the place. The tragic story began when an 8-year-old boy visited River Country. While enjoying the facilities, an amoeba of the Niglary Fowlery type entered through his nose. From there it reached the little one's nervous system and then passed to his brain. This, of course, was the end for the infant. As a result, after the cause of death was known, the investigation was initiated to find out where the victim had contracted the amoeba. This is how the investigations reached the freshwater of Lake Bay Cove, determining that this type of amoeba lived in abundance in the lake. It was also discovered that in spite of the filtration made to the water of the lake before using it in the park, the amoeba was still there. Faced with this reality, Disney decided to close the gates of River Country once and for all. Nobody knows yet the real reason why River Country was closed, but since that time, it ceased to be one of the most important parks in the industry, to become the protagonist of a sad story. However, its lights are still lit as a reminder of what it was.